Cabinet Ministers, K. Shanmugam and Vivian Balakrishnan, are suing Mr. Lee, Shin Young, in Singapore, for libel, as his comments about their rental of Redoubt Road bungalows, were meant for Singaporeans. Explaining why the ministers decided to take legal action here instead of in Britain, where Mr. Lee was located, when he made the comments in question, Mr. Shanmugam said Mr. Lee's statements related to events in Singapore and were meant primarily for a Singaporean audience. We have sued Mr. Lee for a libel that was published to the people in Singapore, which concerns Singaporeans and which is based on the laws of Singapore, said Mr. Shanmugam in a Facebook post on Thursday night. Mr. Lee's primary audience was not in Britain, said Mr. Shanmugam, who is Minister for Home Affairs and Law. What Mr. Lee really wants is special treatment. He wants to be treated differently from Singaporeans and even foreigners who are sued in Singapore for defamation, he said. Mr. Lee should explain why he is entitled to make libelous statements and yet be exempt from the rules that apply to the rest of us. The comments in question were made in a public post on Mr. Lee's Facebook page on July 23rd and concern the rental of two bungalows in Redoubt Road. Mr. Lee, who is the brother of Prime Minister Lee Shin Long, had written that the two ministers have leased state-owned mansions from the agency that one of them controls, felling trees in getting state-sponsored renovations, among other claims. Mr. Lee Shin Yang had said on Facebook earlier on Thursday that the two ministers declined his suggestion to have the case heard in London. I have since responded to suggest the following means of resolution, that we mutually agree to an independent arbitration, where we each choose an arbitrator of high international standing, he said. The two arbitrators could in turn appoint a third arbitrator. The proceedings would be conducted privately, but the decision would be made public with it being final and binding on all parties," added Mr. Lee. Mr. Shanmugam and Dr. Balakrishnan, who is foreign minister, had filed separate defamation suits in the High Court against Mr. Lee on August 2. They are seeking damages and an injunction to restrain Mr. Lee from publishing or disseminating the allegations he made, which they assert are false and defamatory. According to court documents, their lawyers had sent Mr. Lee a letter on July 27, demanding the removal of the offending posts and all related comments. It also demanded that a public apology be put up on his Facebook page for four weeks. The ministers had also sought damages of $25,000 each in the letter, which they said they would donate to charity. However, Mr. Lee responded two days later and said he was simply stating the facts. He added that the ministers should sue him in Britain, where he is located. Eventually, an application to serve court papers to him via Facebook Messenger was made, owing to the impracticality of serving them in person. Said Mr. Shanmugam, for decades now, countless Singaporeans have sued in the Singapore courts for defamation that is published to people in Singapore. These cases are decided by our impartial judiciary, which applies the law. If Mr. Lee thinks that there is no basis for the legal action, he should welcome the opportunity to defend himself in open court where he can cross-examine us and we can cross-examine him in the full view of the Singapore public.